everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today I'm at Magic Mountain to check up on the new roller coaster project. Maybe have some fun, cruise around the park. So how about you and I dive right in. Oh yeah, you know, a day at Six Flags wouldn't be complete without a nice hot parking lot. Oh yeah, it is about 106 degrees out right now. It is a little spicy. But yeah, it's okay. When it's warm like this, the coasters actually run really well. They actually run pretty fast. So, if the lines are not too long, maybe we'll get on a couple. But I have a feeling it might be a little busy because it's, you know, still summer. People still have some time off and... You know, hey, people want to ride some coasters. See, when it's this hot, when it's 106 here in Valencia, that's when you hit up the water park. And a lot of people are actually doing that today because Hurricane Harbor is open. It's open until September. So you have plenty of time to hang out at Hurricane Harbor. You know, surprisingly, I haven't been to any of the SoCal water parks this season. I've only gone to uh, Volcano Bay in Orlando, which I might do one more time this year. I'm not sure. I might do it a couple more times, but. Maybe if I have some time, we'll hit up the water parks uh, here in Southern California because they're pretty good. I, do, I don't mind Hurricane Harbor, it's, it's quite fun. And we've officially made it to the gate. You know, that was a nice, healthy walk. Got my steps in and I'm definitely gonna get my steps in throughout the park because, you know, Magic Mountain is huge. And we've officially made it in. Now they haven't started decorating for Fright Fest just yet. Usually we see some decorations up here in the front, but as of the first week of August, still nothing yet. I wouldn't be surprised though, we start seeing some decorations here in the next couple weeks. Six Flags always does pretty pretty good at decorating the park for Fright Fest. Okay, heading up, heading up the mountain, the Magic Mountain. Gonna always start off by West Coast Racers and work our way around the park counterclockwise. I do remember though that I, uh, since I have a Diamond Elite Pass, I get a little flash pass. So I was able to uh, skip the line for one attraction. I picked Apocalypse. Apocalypse is pretty fun. So I figure, why not? Why not use my little skip the lines? Yes, I've made it to the underground. You know, actually I might ride West Coast Racers. I don't think the line is too bad. You know, we could always check. But yeah, you know, I haven't been on it in quite some time. So I figure, you know, why not? Why not? And we made it into uh, West Coast Racers. That was like a 40 minute wait. Unfortunately, yeah, it was quite the lengthy wait, but because they're holding a lot of people outside. They're not having a queue indoors right here. I'm sure they'll uh, bring this back relatively soon. But yeah, at least we're right here at the load. And also I'm joined by Mario from Mostly Coasters. Hey, how's it going? Nice to see you from uh, Orlando. It's nice to see you too, my dude. We just saw each other and now I'm out here. Yeah, now you're out here in California for a little bit. And this is your first time on West Coast Racers, so I'm super stoked to see your reaction on it. Well, that was a great time on West Coast Racers, but we made it over to the construction site here at the new roller coaster project. Now, last time I was here, and a bunch of footers in place. We're gonna get a closer look at that in a moment, but from this particular angle, right outside the Justice League attraction, obviously nothing has gone vertical as of yet. They're just working on the footers, which is good because you know they're still working incredibly fast. So shout out to the construction crews that are working on this project, really excited. So you can see off in the distance, the Green Lantern uh, building is still up. So just kind of keep solidifying that they might reuse that building as the station for this new roller coaster, which is really cool. Good use of, of old things. They might even throw in an Easter egg or two uh, if it has nothing to do with Green Lantern. So that'll be pretty neat. But yeah, from this particular vantage point, nothing too crazy to see. So let's get a little bit closer. So upon closer inspection, we do have a lot of work that has progressed over the week. You know, last week when I was here, there was only like seven to 10 footers and now there's like close to 40. They've been doing a lot of work in this past few days. It's pretty amazing how quickly they're, they're pouring those, uh, they're putting those footers into the ground, all that rebar is going into the ground, and then pretty soon they're gonna pour the concrete for all of them. And then in the next few weeks, I wouldn't be surprised if they just kind of round out the corners, get ready for uh, the support structure and throw that up. It's gonna be kind of interesting to see a roller coaster right in this particular spot. And this seems to be the turnaround of the attraction. So yeah, just right in this space right here, this is where you're gonna see a big structure here in the next few months. How exciting. 
Really not too much going on over here by the old tidal wave attraction. I would think that this is like the last thing on the list. As the project nears completion, then we might see this uh, change up a bit and obviously they'll remove all this kind of stuff. But for right now, I would assume most of the work is just happening on the center of the project. Yeah, this is just kind of out on the off skirt. So there's really no need to, to come over here and do some work right now. And it seems like right in front of the old Q space of Green Lantern, they're still doing a lot of digging and ripping up a lot of the old electrical and whatnot. Uh, not too much has changed since I last saw that though. So uh, again, I think most of the work is happening in the middle of the project with the footers and all the rebar versus uh, the stuff that's around the project. You know, with the rate that they're going, I wouldn't be shocked if we see some vertical construction uh, sometime in September. And then when I come back from Orlando in October, I yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing a lot of supports and even a possible track work in October. That's just because they're going so incredibly fast. I mean, nearly 40 footers already, and that's just been in a week. Yeah, that's one thing you always got to remember when you come to Magic Mountain. You always got to stay hydrated because it's 106 out right now. That's, that's not good. That's not good. Made it up over here by Totsie just to let you know that it's, it's still down, unfortunately. Not really sure when Totsie's going to be coming back up. I hope soon because it's such a fun roller coaster. I mean, not too often do you get a pretty solid flying coaster, but... uh. Yeah, you're hearing the, the cables on the, uh, on, the <laughs> on the elevator there. You know, I've actually been up to the Sky Tower. Uh, I call it the Sky Tower, but I've been up to the top of that tower with my grandmother once uh, when it was open in a, like a little museum up there. And that was a long time ago. I've never been up. It's been open when I've been here, but I'm like coasters, man. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the main draw. <laughs> it's the coaster. I mean, but you're mostly coasters, so that makes sense. Yeah, I, I primarily I ride the roller coasters. Yeah, mostly the roller coasters. <laughs> but uh, no, that was a that was a pretty amazing view from the top of that tower. Now, as far as the Fright Fest construction is concerned, we can't see anything as of yet over here on the top of Samurai Summit or by the entrance of Ninja, where two mazes usually sit, and one over by Ninja and one over here. But yeah, so so far nothing. Uh, I would. Like I said earlier, suspect that we might be uh, seeing some work later on this month, maybe in the middle of this month. I don't know. They could already be working on the inside of these buildings if a maze is coming back in this particular location. Over here at Superman, we have a line outside. So this might be a pretty lengthy way that gives you an idea of what the crowds are like even during the week. Yeah, it's, uh, Six Flags is pretty busy during the summer, during the week. So just keep that in mind if you are coming to the park here very, very soon. And fun fact, look at this, world's first 100 mile an hour coaster. Yeah, Superman, when it opened up, was the first ever coaster in the world to get to 100 miles an hour. Isn't that crazy to think? You know, it just seems like a lot of rides go 100 miles an hour. I mean, heck, even Autopia at Disneyland, that goes 95 miles an hour. On a good day, it goes like 97. Yeah, on a very good day, 97 miles an hour. Yeah, it's, it's, it's no joke. And we finally made it over to Apocalypse. It's our turn to ride. Remember with these uh, flash passes that you get with your membership, they give you a specific time to go back to the attraction. So we chose five o'clock and here we are. Just got off Apocalypse, so much fun. I really enjoy this ride. It is getting a little rough. They did a retrack on it not too long, uh, not too long ago, so it's not like bad or anything, but I am noticing it. But then again, it is a wood roller coaster, and I go on a lot of steel roller coasters, so I'm so used to rides being incredibly smooth. But this one, though, it's definitely a good wooden roller coaster. It's nonstop from the minute you get off that chain lift to the brake run. It is just incredible when it comes to pacing. No, that was a lot of fun on Apocalypse. But I think that's gonna be it for today. So we're gonna slowly work our way out of the park now, walk back up the Magic Mountain. Hopefully uh, I don't pass out. Thankfully we didn't pass out going up and down the mountain, the Magic Mountain. Oh man, yeah, it was, it was a scorcher today, but nonetheless, still had some fun, went on a couple rides, and of course, checked up on the roller coaster construction, which is, it's a lot going on there. 
All right, well, that's gonna do it for today's video from Six Flags Magic Mountain. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these videos and more, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll stay up to date on every time I post new videos, which will be every single week from Six Flags because of that new roller coaster construction. But it was a great day hanging out at Six Flags Magic Mountain with my buddy Mario from Mostly Coasters. I'll leave his channel link down below in the description. Be sure to check out his stuff. He has really great reviews on a bunch of different roller coasters and of course, some of the stuff out in Orlando. That's where he lives. So be sure to check out his stuff. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description as well as a huge shout out to my Buy Me A Coffee supporters. You guys are absolutely amazing and you help out tremendously when it comes to the video creation. If you want, you can help support the channel by following the link down below. Any donation will help and I greatly appreciate it. But other than that though, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.